This is the part that other people call shirk. This is the part that drives people away from this truth. This closeness that Sufism says is available between you and your Lord is frightening to many people. But in reality, in haq, in truth, the only reality is that there is a closeness between you and your Lord. And if that closeness doesn't exist, then your entire life is an illusion. And when that closeness begins to happen and you integrate Rahman and Rahim and Latif and Sabur and all of the qualities that are God into your own being and you act with those, then reality happens inside of yourself and you enter Hakikat. Now, for God, Sabur is a noun and a verb. For us, it has to be a verb. We need to become merciful to others. In other words, the action of mercy is what we are capable of. And if the action of mercy happens often enough, then we can be called merciful. But one act of mercy doesn't make us merciful. <clears throat> There's a difference between a state and a station. Can you be in a constant state of mercy? Which means, are you constantly giving mercy out? As a matter of fact, is the mercy within you so great that your appearance in a situation brings mercy to the situation, brings mercy to the inhabitants who happen to be near you, to the ones who come into your presence. Is your presence merciful? The reason people gathered around the sheikh is that his presence was merciful, and you felt it as you came near him. His presence was compassionate, and you felt it as you came near him. His presence was love, and you felt it as you came near him. And that love was so powerful that it overwhelmed your own being, and you were put at peace. Now, what's interesting about the word peace is it's also one of the names of God. Salam is peace. And it's one of God's qualities. So if you can get yourself into a peaceful state, you are entering into God's qualities. And Salaam is one of the entrance ways to Hakikat. In normal Arabic <clears throat> um, parlance, when someone meets someone else, they say, Salaam Alaikum, may peace be with you. And then you say back, Walaikum Salaam, may peace be with you also. A lot of the churches use that now uh, in English. It says two things. May God be with you, and may peace be with you. The important part is may God be with you. May divinity be part of you. May the divine and you have some confluence. May the divine and you somehow be together. Don't be afraid of approaching the divine. Don't deny yourself the birthright that God, Allah, has given to you, which is to become part of the divine. Don't be afraid of losing yourself because of all of the treasures that you think you have within this world of illusion. The treasures that are available from Allah are greater than anything you can imagine <clears throat> in this illusory world. The problem is <clears throat> that our intellect is incapable of measuring and understanding the enormity of God's treasures. So since we can't see them, since we can't understand them, we believe that the treasures in illusion have value. And we begin to believe in the power of money, in the power of fame, in the power of power, in the value of power, in the value of fame. We begin to believe these things. And because...
because we believe them, we stop our natural development in becoming part of the divine. And it's only when we give up our attachment to the worldly treasures that we are capable of understanding the greater treasures. The worldly treasures blind us to the truth. The worldly treasures give us a point of view that is an antithesis to reality, that is the opposite of what is real. And it's only when we give up these things that we have the opportunity to begin to know who we truly are. The teachers set it out very straight for us. The teachers in Sufism all bring you to the point of the threshold of Allah's door. They take you there, but you have to let go of everything to take that last step. <laughs> there are enormous number of thresholds to be crossed. People stop at various ones and begin to defend them. We can't be defenders. We can't be crusaders. We can't be warriors. We're pilgrims. We're pilgrim warriors, which means we are warriors on the path to losing the self. And our struggle is the struggle that goes on inside of us. And our battle is the battle with illusion that keeps us from knowing the truth. This is our path. This is what we've chosen. It's very difficult to tell people that if you want to get anywhere in your existence, you have to disappear. This doesn't sell easily. Um, but this is what is at the core of the truth. And that's why so many people go through so many different types of knowledge at the end with the understanding that they really haven't learned anything yet. There's only one knowledge that'll take you towards the truth, and that's the knowledge that only God exists and we have to disappear. And as that happens, reality occurs. Um, in the interim, love and be merciful, be kind, and be compassionate, and in every opportunity, be charitable. Learn to give in the way God gives, without conditions and without holding back, because there is a cornucopia of God's qualities available to you, and as you give them away, more will come to you. As you give away love, more love will come to you. As you give away compassion, more compassion will come to you. God will not only be compassionate to you, he will give you an abundance of compassion to hand out in the world. You'll become his hands in this existence. We need to take on this work.